Hello there. Can you believe it's been a whopping 57 years since the iconic TV series Batman 1966 graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrilling mysteries of Batman. Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those we've lost, and marveling at the transformations of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey. Okay? Let's explore together. In 1966, Adam West graced a screen with his portrayal of the character, Batman, a role he brought to life at the age of 38. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on June 9, 2017, he left us due to leukemia at the age of 88 in Los Angeles, California. She quit last week. I think she went back to her hometown in the Midwest. But I'd be glad to take your order. I am a little hungry. Of course, Robin. Even that I'd walk through pools of light <laughs> to get to that spot in the costume as much like Batman as I could. In 1966, Stafford Rep graced a screen with his portrayal of the character, Chief O'Hara, a role he brought to life at the age of 48. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on November 5, 1974, he left us due to a heart attack at the age of 56 in Inglewood, California. Capsules. Oh, don't you worry, Cape Crusader. I wouldn't even think of... I already took one! Pull yourself together, Chief O'Hara. <laughs> the mere fact that he was at the scene... Burt Ward graced a screen as the character Robin, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 21 during the 1966 filming. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 78-year-old, he's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Los Angeles, California. Into like when we, I remember there was a thing in in a in a spaghetti factory in the original series, and I said, "Holy ravioli, Batman!" But this in 1966, Caesar Romero graced a screen with his portrayal of the character, the Joker, a role he brought to life at the age of 59. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on January 1st, 1994, due to complications from a blood clot stemming from bronchitis and pneumonia at the age of 86, in Santa Monica, California. thousand dollars fine and five years imprisonment. Ah, no. Wrong, kiddies. Look up the statute. In Gotham City, the crime of loitering. Re I've never done before this type of character. Now, why he wanted me in it, I'll never know, because I've never done anything like it. Can you still do the Joker laugh? Oh, sure. Whoa. Yvonne Craig graced the screen as the character Batgirl, cast in her vibrant presence at the age of 30 during the 1967 filming. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on August 17, 2015, she left us due to breast cancer at the age of 78 in Pacific Palisades, California. Louis the Lilac! It's lilac time for you, Commissioner. Dick Grayson. Batman and Robin can't be inside yet. <laughs> And, and so it was very fast paced. And so you just came in and you worked. And when you had downtime, you sort of, you know, I, I was off with the stunt guys. You know. In 1966, Alan Napier graced a screen with his portrayal of the character, Alfred, a role he brought to life at the age of 63. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on August 8, 1988, due to a stroke at the age of 85 in Santa Monica, California. I regret to say, sir, Batman and Robin are not at present available. What? Oh, surely you... ...anxious when, out of the blue, my agent, Bobby Littman, called me up one day and said, Alan, I think you're going to... Neil Hamilton graced the screen as the character Commissioner Gordon, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 67 during the 1966 filming. It is with heavy hearts that we recall September 24th, 1984, when he sadly departed at the age of 85 in Escondido, California, following a battle with complications from asthma. Great Scott, at last! 
master. William Dozier graced the screen as the character and narrator, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 58 during the 1966 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on April 23, 1991, due to a stroke at the age of 83 in Santa Monica, California. Dedicated, unswervable, honest, exemplary, exemplary and uh, uh, mono. In 1966, Madge Blake graced the screen with her portrayal of the character Mrs. Cooper, a role she brought to life at the age of 67. It is with heavy hearts that we recall February 19, 1969, when she sadly departed at the age of 69 in Pasadena, California, following a battle with cardiac arrest. And the treaters. It started a couple of weeks ago at a new restaurant on the west side called the Pink Sandbox. Burgess Meredith graced the screen as the character of the Penguin, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 59 during the 1966 filming. It is with heavy hearts that we recall September 9, 1997, when he sadly departed at the age of 89 in Malibu, California, following a battle with melanoma and Alzheimer's disease. A lifetime supply of butane gas compressed inside. If he managed to toss that into the furnace... Yeah, it's a nice way uh, to make a living if, if, if they like you. And because you just go in there and it's over with. One of the peculiar things that happens to me... I... In 1966, Julie Newmar graced a screen with her portrayal of the character The Catwoman, a role she brought to life at the age of 33. And now, at the age of 90, she resides in Los Angeles, California, basking in the joy of a fulfilling life surrounded by family and cherished friends. I would kiss a lady's hand. You are not a lady. You are a... Curb your tongue, Batman. I cannot tolerate a man with no breed. I mean, you, you die and you come back. Don't you understand that? You should understand that. Cats have nine lives. Share your favorite character from the TV series Batman with me. Drop your thoughts in the comments below this video, and don't forget to show your love by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to catch all my upcoming videos. I'm eagerly looking forward to sharing more wonderful memories with you. Thank you, and see you all soon.